create a new company file. When we create a new company file, Account Edge asks us for the name of the company. This is a required field for file creation because Account Edge Basic and Account Edge uses this information to name the actual company file. At this time, we can also enter our federal tax ID as well as company address and contact information. All of this information can be changed later after file creation. Also, unless we customize our invoices to indicate otherwise, the information entered here will be used on invoices. Next, we need to enter information about our accounting year the current fiscal year, the last month of the fiscal year, and the conversion month. In Account Edge, we're also required to indicate the number of accounting periods. The conversion month is the month in which we begin entering transactions into our company file. Both it and the number of accounting periods are explained in the introduction video. We confirm our accounting information. Then, we need to build our accounts list. We have the option of building an accounts list based on a predefined industry standard list, or build our own list by adding accounts as we need them, or from an accountant supplied list. The latter two options will generate a list of just the basic level one accounts and we'll need to create accounts supplied by our accountant or add them when we record transactions. For our purposes, we'll select a list supplied by AccountEdge. We'll select the industry classification and the type of firm that's appropriate for our operation. This will give us accounts that are typically used in the type of organization we selected. We can preview the accounts list here. When we open our file, we can delete unnecessary accounts and add some that will be specific to our operation. By default, the location for Account Edge Basic Company File is the folder named Account Edge Basic V1 US, which is located in our Documents folder. In Account Edge, the default location is simply the Documents folder on the Mac, and Account Edge 2011 folder on the C drive on our Windows platform. We can change that location and file name by clicking on the Change button. Regardless of what's an initially indicated as the company file name, it's best to keep the name as short as possible because there is a 27 character limit to the file name. There is also a 27 character limit to the file name of the backup file when backups are created. We would click the change button to change the location or the file name. One other note about company file location in Account Edge Basic. If you associate pictures with items, the graphic files will be stored in a folder named Graphics, and that folder will be in the same folder as the company file. So if you move your company file, you'll need to move the Graphics folder too. That's it. We're ready to customize our file using the Easy Setup Assistant and begin entering data.